the score to read. So it's kind of got that little extra level of storyline. As Mana's going to face check, come walking around the corner. The, co the uh, cocoon comes through. Mana taking quite a bit of damage over the wall. Oh, inner fire flash. Does he equalize it onto Helper? He's just he's walking just straight through this one. He's going to flash over the wall. Smith, does he want to pursue? The answer is going to be yes. Doesn't have the first harpoon correct. They'll both go over the wall together. I say solo kill. I wonder why. But uh, we're going to finally see the replay here. Level five on both to start this off. See where the level six actually comes in for Smeb. He was one minion away, and the helper picks this up. Not going to be useful. This is great placement. He's without Skull, like you say, excellent placement on the ultimate. Also able to crowd the Blast Cone as well. No exit for helper. Nice stuff from Smeb. And he had a moment. Diamond here in the mid lane. Go ahead, be chasing forward. Has that ghost pop? Trying to find Pawn. But it's volley. Pawn ripping their own first seismic as well. shove comes through, knocks him in. Cocoon not going to connect, but Pawn still goes down, except it finds the kill. From yeah, just... here on the Pawn, the Weaver's Wall is available. They will toss this one out. Pawn, can he get himself out of here? He'll get knocked in. Seismic shove catches him. Flashes over to the side. Charge is coming alive. in, too. Charge is coming in here from Helper. Ash arrow out. Pawn will just go down. Septon finds the hit. Lane's so far away. Jewel and Ella still walking up the river. Rift Herald now down to around half HP. They go forward here. He comes down in on the spec drops. That Glacial Fisher through from Mata. They try to get the catch. They're chasing in on the Helper. Slow him up. Gusta Blows will expire as he jumps away the Shotgun Blast. But final Q from the Brom will hit. And Mata will help get that kill. Now the fight breaking out. Equalizer comes down, come back, trying to retreat out of this one. Talk wave, not quite going to find anything. His score goes forward, trying to get in on Deceptive, but he's taking quite a bit of damage. Now he's cut off. His duel comes around the back side, just fires straight into him. And will help find that kill. Handing it over to the Talia. Now come back, wrapping around from the side. Does he have another cocoon to offer up here? It's going to be bumped to the other side of the wall, but Deceptive arriving on the weaver as well. Will pick up another one as Zayat goes down. They follow up in on to Pawn. Come back, finding the shot, and Mata dead to rights. One more shot from Duel will do it. There we go. The ace completed ever ace. And the Rift Herald. We're going to see a replay. And at the start, one thing to note is that Smeb overheats, can't use Equalizer. So at this point, it's like, okay, we're going to chase down Helper. Things will be fine. Eventually take down Helper. And with ever eight funneling into a choke that's excellent for Rumble ulti, could have been used at this point. Not used. Still not used. Equalizer goes down, but crucially Pawn misses with the shockwave, very poor shockwave in that scenario. And then Score had already leaped in. Realized suddenly there's no damage with him. Jules able to walk forward. Everyone's low. There's nothing left for KT. Pawn has no mana. Third use of the Weaver's Wall today is excellent. And Everate just out skirmished and team fought KT in pretty comprehensive. There was a little mistake there from Everett, as we'll talk about that in a second. Oh, Here boy. we go. Weaver's Wall and the charge coming through. Smep going to get locked on. Does not have a flash. Seismic shove to just take him even further away from the turret. He's going to go down. Septed. Again from KT. Amazing how many things come together to make it very different from Summer KT. Ella very far forward. The shockwave will come through, and he's going to go down as Death claims the kill. The hawk shot might be important in actually allowing them to get the deep vision that they want. They don't have a melee champion. Oh. Glacier Fisher comes down here. Equalizer thrown out as well. Helper going to have to walk through this one. Gets slowed up, but the charges well. his way he's out. He shoved back in. At least had that one. But Septon, I mean, Weaver's Wall down. Goes down as well. Oh. But now that's going to be the catch in on the pawn. Cleanses off. Flash away. Shockwave connects in on the Septon as he goes low. Spam now rejoining the fight. Score jumping over the wall. Ash Arrow comes through. Connects in on Tamata. Really seen one over the wall. But now Septon getting jumped on. That Banshee's Veil will get cleansed out. He's going low, and that should be the kill. Little more damage off that Flame Spitter does take him down. To start the Baron. We're going to try to start something here. Weaver's Wall comes through, cutting Smeb off. He's just going to push in. Has that Equalizer thrown down on Zonia as he keeps up live. We have to take. The Mopsies are a second cloud drink. All right, well, here we go. Maybe a fight coming through as Casey just get cut off by the Weaver's Wall, but comeback's already been chunked out. Septon poking forward. Big damage. Equalizer coming through, and that's going to be Smeb just deleting Ella right off the bat of the fight. Helper goes forward with a charge, but might be regretting that one. Has to flash over the wall, but all of KT is ready to pile in. They'll take him down. Will flash and over the wall. They knew if Helper died, he couldn't teleport back in. Would be a true 3v5 and ends up being. They do it so decisively. They didn't have the tools to be decisive. But it's another one of those cases. This time it was comeback face checking. Who would have expected that? The Weaver's Wall didn't matter in this particular case. It's Duel and Ella. Just chill on the ball. Give Oriana a free initiate. You don't have to give Smeb too many chances to use the Equalizer. That's the one spot you cannot fight against a Rumble around Baron. And get rid of the Teleport back into the fight from Helper as well. And KT. on the wrong side of the map. 
I do find myself being, well, let's hold that thought. Yeah, it's going to be Weaver's Wall coming through. Cocoon connects in on the death, but he's got the kind of storm to make himself untargetable as he jumps up and now Helper in the front line just trying to tank up. Comeback goes in the back, will die as Death picks up the kill. AP stack and the shields. So the ult's being down though, so he's not Smab. Connects in on the Smab, but now he slows him up with the Harpoon, and now Septon is the one in danger. He's gonna die at the end. Smab finds the kill. Why were they suffering so much? Was it a too many cooks situation when it came down to shot calling? So definitely is uh, a very realistic issue. Death here does get jumped on, now the charge is coming through. So he tries to kite back, and the Weaver's Wall is there to cut him off on the left side. So far, still cutting back successfully with that bear trap on a rope. Does not connect in. Gets the root down onto Helper with the Razor with the Blade Caller, but still falls in the end as Duel finds the kill. Gets the double as he takes down Mata. The bot lane of KT has been dismantled, but now KT fires back. They find three. Game hump. KT turned it around. Now, want it to be cleaner for game two. The game one result is as expected. KT Rolster, 1 0. Yep. Well, they get it in the end, as you say, but certainly are going to be looking to improve. This is still... The Have you ever felt... Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Thank you.